let alone you. Right, as you might have gathered, this is uh, quite a heavy box. Let's have a look what's in here. This is a template for my uh, walking chicken. Just to make a few of these, just drew through, around the template on the wood. All the different parts there. Wings, feet, another wing. So yeah, there's that one. It's on the floor, shall we? It's for a racing car. This is I made a few of these, sort of semi-automata. Uh, Bobs up and down while he's going along, just carved out of a bit of pine wood. Let's have a look. Crocodiles. Let's put this on the floor. Uh, yeah. Lots of bits of crocodile. There's some plans for the crocodile on my uh, website. Fairly easy to make. We've got ah, right, my Noah's Arcs, lots of bits of Noah's Ark here. Tons of bits of Noah's Ark. I used to make a lot of these Noah's Arcs. I used to sell them in shops back in the 80s. Uh, again, plans are available for these on my uh, website. <laughs> a few trains I made for the kids. Quite nice at the time, quite sweet. Another walking toy, never really made it this one. Yeah, didn't get too far with that one. Some fish, actually no idea what that one is. A whole lot of templates for the animals, for the Noah's uh, Ark there. And also some for the uh, owl and the pussycat boat that I make. I'll show you that one, quite a few there. Here's the owl and the pussycat. The uh, rhyme. I made this, well, it doesn't even say when I made it. In the early 80s, I would say. But there's the rowing boat, and inside you've got the, uh, the money wrapped up in a five pound note, if we can get that off without taking this part. So all those coins are all separate. Look, mix a jigsaw. Underneath you've got the jar full of honey. Also comes out. It takes ages to get back together again, so... Get those back in there, shall we? These are bits from a long boat that I uh, made. Narrow boat. Narrow boat then. Got the engine. Always the painted buckets. Again in the 80s when I used to make toys for the Blounds toy maker. Two bags of corn and underneath the rat. <laughs> More fish. Yeah, not quite sure what those fish are. Template for body holes. Not quite sure how that worked actually, but uh, clearly there was a method to my madness there at some time. Right, now I'll show you uh, how to make the chicken. First of all, you need to download, go to the link below and download the, the four pages of uh, drawings with uh, slight instructions on them. Make sure you print them at 100% and then uh, when you've done that we can start cutting out the parts. So cut the paper templates out and then stick them with uh, Pritt glue, this is some sort of a knockoff, but uh, it seems to work. So, no need to stick it on too tight, but you need to hold in position and stay flat for when you saw it and drill the holes. So, so this is on 6mm or 
quarter inch plywood. Good. So what we've got to do here is uh, cut around the profile. We need two of these. And I usually clamp them together for drilling the holes. So I'll get on and do that now. Good. Once you've cut out the parts, I'll show you how they go together and the rough principle of it. I won't uh, show you blow by blow account of how to do it. Uh, but first of all, we've got the ones, I, well, first of all, cut out each side of the body and clamp them together before you drill them. Then you need two holes which are exactly the same as the dowel, so it's a tight fit, and one hole that's a little bit bigger. This is six mil, so I've got two six mil holes and a 6.5 mil, quarter of an inch basically, and a little bit bigger than quarter of an inch. And this gap, then, then sorry, we glue these parts on that are colored blue here. I colored them blue to show that these parts need to be a little bit thicker than the plywood so that uh, the parts inside can spin. So either you need to stick a thinner piece of plywood on top of the plywood you're using or find some wood that's a little bit thicker to make those parts. This channel here needs to be the same width as the dowel that you're going to use for the handle so that it'll just push in. Okay, so glue those sides, let them dry push those two dowels in. Those dowels need to be the right length so that they just go to the width of the body. And then the feet go on this first dowel, so make sure they spin right. And the head goes on the second one. And now, when the feet turn, they should catch the head and turn it upwards. And then it goes, whoops, and then once it's gone past, it goes down again. Simple enough. You may need to round these parts here and possibly also the back of the heel just to make it run smoothly. Now you've got the part that actuates the wings. This part, the dowel needs to go through the body but also through each side of the wings. So it needs to be quite a lot wider with the pin in the middle there, going through the middle. I suggest when you cut this small bit out, drill the hole first. It's much easier to drill it than cut it out. You might make, make a few of these to get one that's the right size. So that's going to fit loosely in there. So now what happens is it pushes down there, you see, and so it lifts the wing up. And then once it goes, once the leg goes round a bit, that comes back. The wing pulls that back down, and you're ready for the next one. goes down and that's going to have been pulled back by the wing. You need to make sure that this is the right size to make sure it clears here and that it doesn't go so high that this just pins against it. It needs to stop so that when the head comes back it's able to push it. So a little bit of experimenting might be required. But as you can see the action, when the head goes up it pushes that pin down and the wings go up head back wings up and then it reverts until the next cycle. Once you think you've got it right, just pin the other side on and hold it together and then check to see if it's working before you do anything else. If it is working, great. If not, you will need to modify this part perhaps just to get it to, tweaked to work. Then once you're happy it's working, take it all apart, paint the parts uh, I suggest acrylic paints are the best. Make sure still that it's working and then you can glue this other side on. With the head, don't forget to pay, put the wattles on. Uh, paint it like this really. There's a picture on the front of the drawings that show you one way of painting them. But chickens come in various colours and uh, absolutely up to you what colour you paint it. So good luck with it. Have fun.
good. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.